you're a busy man, you work 12 hour day. How has the Sleep Fat Awakening helped you to, I guess, stay on track with your diet and your training? I think for me the biggest thing is accountability. Do you want to hold this? Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> My mic. My amazing mic. Uh, I think for me the biggest thing is accountability. Um, I think knowing that I'm checking in with you at the end of the week um, is really important. Uh, and I think it's been surprising to me how you can have a flexible lifestyle and still get yeah pretty good results so far. I know there's more to do, but um, that's been really good. And I think there's you can go online and find bits, but having your expertise at the end of an email, at the end of the phone, being able to get the right answers and, and push me in the right direction has been invaluable. It's been really, really good. So how um, how's the flexibility part? How does that fit? What, what do you mean by that? How does that fit into into your life by, by being flexible with your diet? So I think well, a big thing for me is my job day to day is very different. One day I could be um, I can't move an inch from screens. Another day I don't really need to be there. Um, and I think. If I do have a really busy day, I can, yeah, maybe I can move the train to the next day, but I can still eat right on that day, or I can still get my steps in early in the morning or late in the evening. Um, but yeah, and so there's that side of it would work, but then also I still want to be able to go out and socialise with friends, with, with my partner, go out for meals and stuff. So yeah, it's worked certainly in um, around my work, but then also around my social life as well, really well. Before Simon, you were obviously into your triathlons, weren't you? Yeah. Um, and you're pretty good at them, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Modern, <laughs> modest. If, in terms of training, you didn't have much experience before. Like, Certainly not lifting, no. Not lifting. So how do you feel that the Pro the Skinny Fat Awakening has helped you with your training? Uh, I think a big part of this was I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know what a session should look like in terms of like uh, quantity, reps, sets. I, I'd, I'd almost be like a time, let's just get as much as we can in a couple of hours, shall we? Or, or how many days a week do I need to be training? And I, I, th I think that's a, that's a big thing that's, that's changed over time. Um, I'm, all, I'm almost, because of the running and, and triathlon, it, it was... Uh, three different sports and it was like twice a day, every day, like just really trying to push it. And I think <clears throat> with with weight training, because of how sore you are at times, like that isn't what's needed. You, you do need time to recover. You, and I think that structure that you've brought to that, for me, has is, is been really, really important. Good, well, that's good to know. Did you did you ever say that you've trained with friends before? I've, I've, had, a, I've had a mixture. Um, I've, I have trained with friends a small amount, um, we just follow like a cheap online plan, um, and the, the thing with training friends is it's really good to push you. It's really good to push you, but there's also certainly my friends anyway. You can get distractions, and you're not on set on task. And if you've only got an hour to train around work, then yeah, you, it's it, that as it, it, like I say, it can be a hindrance but also a positive. It, it works both ways. I think. Yeah, massively. That took me back to when I first started training as well, where you know I was training with a group of friends, and we were absolutely furious. We didn't know what we were doing, mm. but that element of sometimes you would get a good session, and sometimes you wouldn't, because you would end up talking. You know, you would end up getting distracted. And but you do have that competitive, like certainly with me in life, I'm quite competitive. So if my friends done a I don't know seventy eight kilo bench, well then I want to go and do an eighty five. Do you know what I mean? So that that competitiveness is really really good. But yeah, it's it's sticking on task, and certainly getting sessions when you got. Uh, yeah, if you've got a short amount of time around work or around kids or some guys or whatever, it's it's fitting it in. And if you ain't got a short amount, if you've got a short amount of time, fucking around with friends isn't the best thing to be doing. No, I massively agree. So you you mentioned there staying on task. How and I know we've touched on it very very briefly. How has some of the stuff that we've been doing? You, you I think you mentioned at the start of the video the the, the, the weekly check in. How has that helped you stay on, on track? Which part of that has potentially made you stick to this for long enough to see results, whereas maybe before, when you were either training on your own, whether you were training with your friends, it would have been easy to veer off on another path and maybe not go to the gym 
or, or veer away from your diet, what specifically do you think has helped you stay the course essentially? I think it's just con like consistency of checking in every week. Like I, I, if I do the work, if I if I do the work, uh, it's almost like in my head I, I I'm, I'm, like, I'm like guilting myself and doing work. I don't want to make myself look lazy to dad. Genuinely, that that is how I look at it, and I I want you to see that I'm taking it serious and I'm doing the right things and getting the results and. It might not be nice at the time. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm from a sporting background, and like, if I'm not doing something right, I want someone to call me out on it. Like that, and that's my, my, my job and, and sport. Like, and that's what you bring. If I don't, if I don't do, if I miss a session in a week, I, I want you to call me out. I want to be held responsible for what I've said that I'm going to do. If I, if, I, if I said I'm going to do something, I should follow up on it. And and when I do follow up on it, I get great results. But if I don't follow up on it, then I'm slack and I'm not getting the results. And and I think that's where you've massively held me accountable. And and that's why that check is really important. Nice. No, that's good. I mean, I mean, that's really refreshing to hear. Um, and again, it just goes back to what you were saying. Where, like, I think kind of commitment and discipline are two different things. Whereas mm -hmm. you can you can be really, you, can, you can wake up in the morning and you know, tell yourself that you're going to be disciplined. But you know, you can even set up a, a fitness Instagram account and have other people follow you and try and stay accountable and whatnot. And that, you know, that is an element of, of accountability. But I think. To stick the course and be commit be committed. You have to have that relationship with someone. Where, like you said, maybe not fear factor. I know you're not scared of me, but no, is that trying to trying to maybe not impress someone? But you know that you want to put this effort in because ultimately you're, you're doing it for yourself, right? Yeah, but there you are. Yeah. If if you're doing it with maybe it's the community of guys as well that are, you know, that are in that the WhatsApp group together. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a case of the small element of wanting to not impress them, but show them what's possible as well, and be an, an inspiration to them. And I know this is something I've, I've just said to you, but like, a big one for me is I look at the stories of some guys in that group and, and their results they're getting, and like, yes, I have busy work periods, but I, I have other periods where it's a lot quieter, and I work from home, I can cook all my own meals, I don't have kids, my, my responsibilities are low, so I've got no excuse really. And when I, when I look at what some of these guys are able to do with work life, home life balance with, with kids and all the rest of it like it it makes me think well i've got i have got no excuse i've got i've got so much flexibility and little responsibility that I, I should be getting just as good results if not better and that and it almost that drives me on as well seeing what they can do and i think that's a big part of it yeah that's good to know and i like you said like it's um i think that's the beauty of the, the skinny fat awakening is it, it it can work for anyone from any walk of life and mm. <clears throat> i think what you said there about you know being coached, it's not a, a one size fits all thing. It's a case of you have, how I go about my programming and whatnot. And you know, you've you've seen this as everyone's training is different. And the way that we diet is is, is different to everyone. So no, well done on getting your results. Your um, I think we gained twelve kilograms in your in your first oh muscle building cycle when you came to me. <laughs> being a triathlete, and then all of a sudden you you gained all that muscle, and we've lost a lot of fat, and now you're yeah looking. Incredible. So um, yeah, hopefully these guys can, can see the, the results that you get and, and inspire them. So just one last question from me. If you had any bit of advice for someone who's maybe sitting on the fence, maybe they were in a similar position to you because I know you signed up through my email list before and you were on it for a good... On it for a while. Two years? Mm, something yeah. like that? Two years. Digesting my content and um, what would be your advice to someone who's on the fence and wants to start, but something's holding them back. <coughs> if, I think for me, it's just if you want change, you've got to fully commit to it. And I think you're the perfect person, or well, certainly speaking that way, you're perfect to guide, guide me um, into what I wanted. And I had to fully commit, and I did. So I think if you sit on the fence, you've just got to go for it. If it's what you want, you've got to go for it. Awesome. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate Cheers, it. Thanks for your hard work. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>